Hi, this is Vignesh from Advanced Quality Center. Now we are going to discuss about welding procedure specification and welder qualification. WPS is a document of a manufacturer which defines how a weld to be made. And welder qualification is a process of certifying a welder that he is capable to perform the weld as defined in the welding procedure specification. Welding. Welding is a process of joining similar metals and brazing is a process of joining dissimilar metals. There are different welding processes based on the process of heating and shielding metals. Shielded metal arc welding. Gas tungsten arc welding. Gas metal arc welding. Flux coat arc welding. Submerged arc welding. Electric resistance welding. And friction stir welding. Oxy fuel gas welding. And brazing. Jobs or welding are pipe and plates. Scopes of welding are structural steels, ships, offshore structures, pressure vessels, aircraft, automobile, aerospace, and much more. Types of weld joints are butt weld, lap joint, corner joint, edge joint, and T joint, and few more. Major welding types are groove weld and fillet weld. Groove welds are otherwise called as complete joint penetration or full penetration. Based on the type of grooves, there are several types of weld joint configurations. Based on the weld positions, plate weld positions are 1G, which is flat, 2G, horizontal, 3G, vertical, with uphill, or downhill motion, 4G, which is overhead, and pipe positions are 1G with pipe rotated, 2G horizontal, 5G with pipe fixed, 6G with pipe inclined at an angle of 45 degrees. Before preparing a WPS, it is essential to verify the material test certificate of the base metal and the batch test certificate of the filler metal. And make sure the weld machine is properly maintained and the weld machine is calibrated. Few of the codes and standards for preparation of a WPS and welder qualification are given here. Today, we are going to discuss preparation of WPS and welder qualification based on ASME Boiler and Pressure Vessel Code Section 9 Process of WPS Preparation Select the thickness and diameter of the test plate or pipe to be welded. Prepare the plate or pipe to the required dimension and bevel configuration. Fit up in the required position. 
ask the welder to perform the weld and prepare a run sheet. Note down the current, voltage, gas flow rate, travel speed, surface temperature and calculate the heat input values of each weld passes. The formulas for travel speed and heat input is given here. Now record all the essential, non-essential and supplementary essential variables. Example, the grade of steel, its P number and group number, minimum carbon equivalent value, filler metal specification and their F number and SFA number, the position welded, preheat temperature, gas or gas mixture used and their gas flow rate, current used and their polarity, techniques used, weld width and post weld heat treatment requirements. After performing the test, examine the welded test plate or pipe. For example, examination like visual inspection, tensile test, bend test, impact test and other mechanical test as described in the referencing specification or made. Record all the results and prepare a procedure qualification record. After that, prefer, prepare a WPS based on the PQR. Let us discuss with an example. Here, a WPS for a pipe welding has been made. This is a WPS test coupon and its run sheet. A pipe of 2 inch and schedule 80 and material grade ASTM SA333 grade 6 is welded. Its thickness is 5.5 mm and a complete joint penetration is made. The welding process is gas tungsten arc welding. The filler metal used is ER70S2. The shielding gas is argon and the gas flow rate is noted as 8 to 10 liter per minute. The actual variables is noted during the welding. Example, their weld length for each pass, time of weld, voltage, current, calculated travel speed, calculated heat input, the weld metal thickness, weld width and interpass temperatures are noted as actual. In this case, three weld passes are made, root, hot pass and final capping. A maximum heat input of 1.91 kilojoules per mm is noted. After performing the weld and noting down all the variables, visual inspection is made. After visual inspection, the material is sent to non-destructive examination and destructive examinations. The requirement of examinations is mentioned in the referencing code. For preparation of procedure qualification record, the base metal classification 
their corresponding fee numbers and group numbers are noted down from the referencing code ASME Boiler and Pressure Receive Code Section 9. The grade ASTM SA333 grade 6 has a P number 1 and group number 1. And this is the grade mentioned in the material test certificate. Now procedure qualification record is prepared with all the essential, non-essential and supplementary essential variables. The actual well design, the base metal specification, their P number, group number, thickness of weld coupon, diameter of the weld coupon, maximum weld pass thickness, filler metal classification, their corresponding F number and SFA number, size of filler metal, filler metal product form, weld metal thickness, Position of the test well, well progression, preheat temperature, post well heat treatment requirement, the gas used, electrical characters, techniques used, and the actual welding variables. Also, the results from the non-destructive examinations and destructive examinations is given here. After completion of all the examination, the procedure qualification record is approved. Now let us prepare a welding procedure specification based on the existing procedure qualification record. It is noted from the standard, performing a weld of material 5 mm thickness qualifies a base metal from a thickness of 1.5 mm to two times the thickness. In this case, we have performed the weld on base metal thickness 5.5 mm which qualifies the production weld from 1.5 mm until 11 mm and maximum weld thickness is two times the thickness of individual weld passes. It is also defined here two tensile tests has to be made and four bend tests has to be made, two face bend and two root bends. And also we have performed weld on a pipe of diameter 50 mm. It can be noted from this referencing standard, it qualifies pipe from 25 mm outer diameter until unlimited diameters. Thus, we prepare a welding procedure specification with ranges. The thickness qualification range is from 1.5 mm to 11 mm. And production pipe diameter is from 25 mm to unlimited. And fillet weld can be performed on all the sizes. Any filler metal which falls under F number 6 is qualified. Maximum thickness of weld metal deposit is 4 mm. As we have performed a weld thickness 
of 2m. Thus, a welding procedure specification is prepared based on a procedure qualification requirement. For welder qualification, all the welders of the manufacturer are made to perform a weld based on the existing welding procedure specification. Here is an example of welder qualification record. In our case, the welder have performed test weld in a position 6G. Our referencing standard qualifies the welder for all the position when he have performed the weld in 6G position. And the examination required for performance qualification is visual examination and mechanical examination or can be replaced by any volumetric NDE methods such as radiography testing. Therefore, the welder can be qualified using a visual inspection and a radiography testing. Please be noted, the welded test coupon should be prepared with a length sufficient to perform the required examinations. Thank you.